So, what exactly is hash? Unlike cannabis resin, which is obtained from the buds of the cannabis plant, hash comes from the rest of the plant, especially any flowers which contain trichromes. These trichromes contain both cannabinoids, such as CBD and THC, along with terpenes, which are responsible for providing hash and cannabis resin with its distinctive smell. Up until the 1980s, hash was traditionally made by heating and pressing the chopped-up cannabis plant to create a brick-like product. It was in the late 80s that a machine was developed to separate the trichromes from the rest of the plant material, which were then used to create hash. However, you can do this just as simply by freezing the remaining cannabis plant after you have extracted the buds, adding it along with blocks of dry ice to a muslin net bag, originally branded bubble bags, but also now called bubba bags or bubble bags, that is sufficiently fine to stop most plant matter falling through, but allowing the trichromes to fall through and then shaking the bag above a flat surface to catch the trichromes as they fall through the bag. Alternatively, you can take your frozen plant material and place it on top of a very fine mesh screen that has been placed above a flat surface. The cannabis plant should then be gently rubbed and spread over the fine mesh screen, encouraging the trichromes to fall through onto the surface below. You have to be careful not to do this for too long or you will begin to break down the plant itself and that will also begin to fall through the screen, lowering the purity of your hash. This powder-like substance of trichromes is called keef. No, not keef, it's spelt K-I-E-F and it is collected and compressed in a block for a few minutes using a car jack. Once you have released the jack and opened up the block, you will find a very solid hash brick inside. If you know of other ways to make hash, perhaps using water extraction or have a separate topic you would like us to cover in future videos, do let us know in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you too can become a cannabis expert.